Hello, hello, my lovelies. Sigita with fully finished large journal. Uh, yeah, I think the biggest journal ever I have made. It is not completely and fully embellished, but it is really big. Right, let's start with size and then let's go with all rest. It is six by eight and a half, just like a standard large journal. And very interesting spine because this is actual spine, which is two and is it one fourth? Uh, spine and this is for a front cover on a spine i put a little bit of white lace on a nice tassel with some beads acrylic beads and this is paper bead a little bow and this you can take it off if you like it is on both pin right and look at this some gold is going on, so right. Closure, I just tied around white lace, a uh, white lace ribbon, white lace trim, simply because I didn't want to, I was thinking about wrap from the very beginning, but I don't want to cover all this goodness because there's a lot of white going on in this journal. I just decided to wrap around lace and have a bow because we have bows as well in this journal. Cover itself is quite thick simply because we have a window here and inside is like a little shadow box. Is this shadow box, right? We have a girl's picture and some dried roses in and this is like that uh, transparent uh, sheet on the top. How I make this is on my Patreon. Some stitching, I would say more stitching than, than um, embroidery because it's not as perfect as I imagine, you know, embroidery should be. So I'm calling more stitching because it's like for, for grungy rough. A journal and style wise this journal is more is like grungy romantic or romantic grungy because uh, quite grungy are uh, uh, quite a bit of rust but at the same time white and white laces which gives me some very romantic uh, feel and here as well down there we are having double white white lace right a lace up there a little bit of stamping as well if you can see so i love this cover i have never ever made cover like this before this is something like i made first time and i love it back very nicely as well embellished and shop name as well in this journal i used not i used i embellished or decorated or made pages slightly different as no as usually I do. So let's get through. This as I said is very thick cover. Therefore it's, the journal is quite heavy. Inside so inside of the front cover white lace pocket I just stitched you know to get some more like pockety feel. Uh, this is eco dyed, real eco dyed fabric. I dyed, I think, a couple of years ago. I didn't use it because I really like it. But for this journal, I felt like it does really fit it. This is like thick cotton fabric, like, uh, you know, um, towels, our uh, old towels we had, cotton ones. They are quite thick. So this is what it is. So that's, yeah, this is eco, eco dyeing. So front pocket we are having, this book belongs to, with some little uh, goodies and a pin. And this opens like that. I just 
inked it. And this is like from actual this uh, actual um, how do you call it? some kind of journal for uh, yeah it is not a print is actual that page of the journal like that that then we are having two uh, printed on jars you can use as a journaling card. And then my, you know, what I like really uh, this journaling card with extras on the top. This is actual collaging, but on the back I printed, so it's nice to write. And little notes here. And you can open it and change these notes. So I love that as well. Right, that's in the front pocket. Next, and this is this are uh, and as well um, signature wise four signatures. I never made guys four signatures before. I th wanted two signatures from the very beginning, but it didn't work out that way. Uh, but I, and I like this way better. So what I'm having is very embellished signature. Then I have for writing like journaling signature. Then embellished and then journaling signature again. So this is why that uh, journal is so big. It's like two journals in one. Right, anyway, very heavily embellished. Uh, as I said, I was um, making pages in different in different way, as I usually or normally do, and that as well is on my Patreon. Uh, why on a Patreon? Because this is my permanent job. This is I uh, money I pay my bills. Uh, if I want to work like, uh, like let's say, normal work, not to do just art, then I have to, you know, uh, move away from the country because there is not possible to find a work. Anyway, and my YouTube channel, guys, remember, please follow, please like. Uh, this is my second, my new YouTube channel because I locked myself out from my old one. So please be aware of that too. Okay, let's go ahead. And this is like my extra grungy paper. Look how nicely I it incorporated in a page. How to make these extra grungy papers? I have on my Etsy is video tutorial with back like step by step how to do it. It's not it's easy, but it's not straightforward. Let's say that way. There is no actual, uh, you know, uh, knowledge. But you can, everyone can do it. I'm using a little bit of gold. This is more like rose gold from little jar from AliExpress. Like this is like the rose gold foil, right? But on a cover, I'm using gold acrylic. Right. Then we are having as well journaling cards. These are, as probably most of you know, a sample design. So little tuck up. A nice a printed page in some embellishments we open and we have envelope with another sample uh, journaling card uh, embossed white cardstock some laces and then we turn little writing space here little notes then this page again is grungy papers white lace and some stitching all around and some gold uh, this is printed on a fabric and this is my own uh, drawing. I just printed on a fabric, so all that embellished as well. Page here with belly band and this is a journaling card I made and picture is my own pictures as well available on my Etsy. This is journaling card I printed out and belly band and like page under returning here and we are having a pocket with few embellishments and just simple two journaling cards this is print out and this is actual uh, collaging belly band like on a side I did this way okay and sample Again, journaling card, and I printed this out as a document. 
but I printed lines on the back, so really nicely you can write it down. This document is from Ruby and Pearl XO, from her um, Low Letters, I think, collection. Right, turning here, again, nice flip up. Pocket, like little corner pocket, and a lovely small journaling cards. So they are prints on the back. This is actual printing. Like that, little curl. Uh, very as well, again, embellished page. This is a fabric, rusted fabric. Flip up. This is Echo uh, paper, real one, not printed. So fabrics and gold, belly band here on a uh, the page. These papers are from, I don't know, <laughs> I printed them out like as I purchased years and years back. Maybe it's my por porch prints, but I am really not sure, maybe even not. Uh, because uh, I can't remember. So again, a little, and this is that doc, uh, that page I was telling you. So what I was putting on a front pocket, I just cut it off, and this is top one, which as well I made in a little fold for for journaling, and some that extra embellishment on the top. And in a belly band, like that, all embellished, it's nicely white. This one, I I have, um, for flip up, I have a video on a YouTube. So, point is, you know, we are making, like here, we are making embellishments and we glue down to the page. But then I thought, why we have to glue down? We can use as a flip up and then we still have page underneath. So that was my main point of it, and I just attached with masking tape. Very embellished with like uh, rusted uh, cheesecloth and white laces and all that stuff, and pictures. And this as well, the same laces and white laces and scribbles. And now we are going to journal uh, signature. So journal signature very nicely wrinkled up or aged up uh, signature uh, with quite a lot of gold and how I make these edges is as well on my patron so I put on on each page a little a peony stamp and some uh, script stamps I really like how that look so each page as you can see is different wrinkled up I would say a little bit of gold so they really really look grungy and old like that then we have a signature three which is again a uh, embellished one so a lot of embellishments a little bit of stitching this is ink uh, down there is uh, echo print as well. This is printed on fabric. Some uh, tuck with sample design journaling card. And then we have envelope inside as well, sample. And then we open and we have decorations here, decorations here. A lot of decorations there. I really like this page. Small acts transforms the world. I think that's really true. And echo print. Envelope as well. I managed to put in envelope. And each envelope has these love letters I was mentioning. These are as well from Ruby and Pearl XO. Uh, the top is from her because I love the way that envelope have been folded but inside i put as again lines you know to write so you really can put if you don't like write in a journal you can write in little uh, these notes and uh, put it in in an envelope it really just about goes in 
And another one is the same. I love this print as a little letter, right? And when we open that print stays kind of in the center, right? And I just printed. I didn't print actual letter on because she has letter as well. Uh, I printed lines so uh, you can actually write on it. In it. Like that. I really like these. I have never seen uh, envelopes like that before. So that's something new to me. Right. Embellishments. Belly band here. And belly band that you made some like kind of tags but i uh, tied them together like four absolutely for journaling okay some fabrics embellishments laces rusted inks gold lace maps so a lot of things the same lot of things here i think this page of this flip up i was making on a youtube if I remember, I put these down as well in the description box. If you can see, uh, actually, I really don't like how YouTube changed this, you know, under a video, that writing spot. I cannot understand really where is description box and where is, it's like in one, in one pot, let's say, so everything in one pot. Uh, I don't like it. I like the old one better. I think it was more understandable. But anyway, uh, you have to put uh, most of the time you have to press show more to read for whole inf information because at the very beginning it just shows sentence or two. So you have to press show more. Anyway, this is on a YouTube, and as I said, you lift it up and you have spot for little notes. A belly band here. And this as well, Teddy is my actual Teddy, is one of my bed. <laughs> so yeah, these cards are on my Etsy as well, available. Embellishments, a lot of love, very grungy page. And this one as well, very grungy page. And another writing, another writing uh Signature, so signature four. Just coffee stained papers. I didn't put any different ones. Otherwise, it's going would be like very uh, crazy in color and stuff. So anyway, yeah. So this is a uh, journaling signature, and then back pocket as well. On the back, it is, is the same as on the front. Uh, echo print and some lacy pocket and I put in two of these false skins I've been making and drawing outside on the line so these two I really like them so I just put in that white uh, uh, embossed uh, paper again two uh, journaling cards as a jars and another journaling card with all these bits and pieces on an actual uh, collage and i printed lines on the back so my lovelies is this that's it and then we have a cover i love that back cover so on the front and on the back there is no uh i didn't cover right i didn't cover there is no mud gel and nothing at this time so everything is paper everything sh should be <laughs> nice and safe uh here on um spine i was using that echo printed uh, fabric too but somehow that uh, black stitching through i didn't really like it because everything was kind of so romantic and there was like bats black black these threads coming through and I, when I put on that white lace, I was like, oh, yes, I love that. So this is the reason why I covered it, because I wanted it to be more, like, more romantic this time. And big, big tassel. A tassel is made from a crocheting thread. So it's quite thick. So, my lovelies, all this... I really like this. As I said, in all in all ways, is quite different 
not like quite different uh, I'm, I'm usually working is still grunge but some techniques and some pages i was creating how to push down i can push down because that um these pages i gr crunch crunched up uh, they give the really big bulk but you can press it down Right, my lovelies. Yeah, so I have been really working on this journal. I love how this turned out. So thank you so, so much, my lovelies. Um, let's see how this goes. Uh, what I'm going to do next, I don't know yet. I actually want to create something small. After this one, I want something small. Maybe even just cover and pages like this with gold, maybe inside. And that's it. Just <clears throat> simple note uh, note note journal so we'll see i haven't uh really i don't have any ideas at the moment because i was really concentrating on this i'm still working on two uh on two set sets on two journal kits they are going to be quite quite a big ones i think um, but yeah let's see what uh how that will go uh hopefully i will be done by next next week saturday today right my lovelies enjoy your weekend if you have any questions please ask for journals i don't do a uh, custom orders like for years now but you can reserve journal as soon as i start to make right my lovelies thank you so much very very hot here is hot wave uh, at last reached us as well but yeah, I'm not going out. <laughs> it's too hot for me. Right, my lovelies. See you very soon. Bye.